getting my flowers whilst I'm still alive. And at this age, it, it means the world. Um, I'm one who doesn't go for um, recognition and, you know, um, uh, a clap or a hoo-ha, but um, for some reason this feels genuine um, because it's something I haven't been doing for recognition and here we are now. Um, people do um, see the good work that I'm doing. So, how do you make a subject that's hard for kids to understand whilst they're still at school so much fun that they want to do it even after matric? Come and meet our July Teacher of the Year. He is making physics cool again. Why teaching? Why did you become a teacher? Sure, Bongani, it's, it's for me, it's the most uh, important job, um, personally, uh, because it's just one way that I could find to give back to the society. Um, I strongly believe that we can't live forever. I mean, it's, it's impossible, but we can create something that will live forever. And for me, I had to find my own way of leaving that legacy behind. And I, can't, I couldn't find any better way than teaching. You're just a boy from Tabong. I mean, when you were growing up in the Free State, did you know this is what you would do? Um, not quite frankly. Um, growing up, like any other child, you know, you want lots of money, nice cars, big house. And I mean, you want to be a lawyer, a doctor, and I think that's what our parents really, you know, um, aspire for us. But um, surprisingly, later on in my high school life, um, because of issues at school where teachers were absent and were sick, I had to sort of chip in. And I would use my friends to study and I would pick up a textbook, figure out a topic quickly, and then teach them. And then at that moment, that's when I really, really realized that this is what I want to do. And that's where it started. Now you teach a subject many kids dread. They don't want to do physics and they tell me you make it come alive. The, the stigma attached to it is quite the problem, Bongani, to be honest. Um, there's, there's a lot of stigma and it's because of people's individual um, personal struggles with physics. Um, but I think I try my best in a classroom to sort of bring the whole environment to them and make them realize that everything is science. When the kids feel like they, they fall, they form part of something, they, they tend to do better. Kids don't learn from someone whom they don't like and I think it helps to, to win their hearts first and then teach them. You're only really at the start of your career. Plans for the future, dreams for the future? Um, obviously to grow, to grow even more. I mean, I'm still growing here under my um, brilliant mentor, Lilo McClashen, she's my HOD. But um, at the bottom of my heart, I still want to go back and give back to the community. Oh man. And that's what it's about, is it not? Finding your passion, spreading that passion to other people and also giving back to the communities from which we come. That's what makes it all worth it. The Teacher of the Year initiative is such an important one. Do you know a teacher you should nominate?